Hey everyone, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. So over the past few weeks I've had some questions on how do I get my InDesign layouts onto digital mockups. Much like you see in my YouTube videos, much like you see in my tutorial posts on my website. So today I'm going to show you how to export your work in InDesign and bring it into a Photoshop mock-up, digital mock-up, and um, this is a great way of displaying your work, sending it to clients, or even just putting it in your portfolio. Rather than just send them the artwork as a JPEG, PNG, PDF, oftentimes designers will put it in a digital mock-up just to give it a little more sense of realism uh, and show the client or whoever you're, you're presenting it to um, how it would look in real life, okay? So let's get started. In my document here, I have um, just a square booklet that I worked on um, and I'm going to export the first three pages because this is incomplete. So I'm just going to export the first three pages and show you how to add them to digital mockups. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is when you're done, completely done your, um, your layout, your project, go up to file and export. And I'm just going to export these onto my desktop. I have it called booklet. You can rename it to whatever you want. And right now, as a default, it'll probably default to something like Adobe PDF print when you export your work. Just drop that down and let's choose JPEG. I usually choose JPEG when I'm when I'm adding it to a uh, digital mockup. So I'm going to hit save. Now, because I only want to export three pages, I'm going to go and I'm going to select range and just type in the pages. So one comma, two comma, three comma. If you wanted to export the entire thing, just click all. You can export as pages or spreads because I want to work in single pages. When I'm putting this on the mockup, I'm going to select pages. It's just easier to put it on a mockup when you're working with pages. For image quality, I almost always choose maximum because if you're scaling this down in Photoshop, you still want the words, the headlines, the photos to be good quality and um, you want to be able to read some of the text on there too. You don't want it to become pixelated. So maximum and then resolution, I always set it to 300, okay? So I'll do that and then I'm just going to hit export. And they're on my desktop now, so I am done with InDesign. I'm just gonna close this up. And I'm gonna open Photoshop here, and I'm gonna drag those three over to Photoshop, and I'm gonna open them up here. So there's this one, this one's the cover, so I'm gonna start there, and I'm also gonna open up the actual mock-up. So let me open that up. Okay, so here is the mock-up that we're gonna be working off of here. And so I want to get this cover onto this mock-up. Now when you open a mock-up, this one in particular is from uh, Creative Market. It's one that I purchased. It's part of a editorial design bundle where I, there's, I think there's over a hundred mock-ups to choose from. So this is the one I'm going to be working on today. And when you open a mock-up, you want to actually open the layers panel as well because this is where you're going to see a lot of the um, smart object layers to choose from. So in this case, I'm going to choose brochure square. I'm going to hit that icon to collapse the layer. And we're, usually they say your design or replace design or put your design here. This is the one that I'm going to be using. To place my cover onto. So the first thing you want to do is actually double click that smart object thumbnail. That's going to bring up this area here um, so it's empty right now. And what I usually do is I go to my artwork and with your move tool I'm just going to click and drag the artwork into the tab. So drag it to the tab that you want, bring it over the workspace and drop it. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Now the artwork is too big for that specific size. First thing I want to do is do Command T or I'm going to hit Escape or you can go to Edit uh, Free Transform right there. If 
but the shortcut is Command T or Control T on window. Windows. Okay, so I'm zoom out, and basically I'm just going to grab this bottom handle and scale it down, and then reposition it. You see my smart guides are on, and because it's a square size, it'll fit that dimension pretty easily. Once you're done, just hit Enter, and the next step is actually saving this layer, so Command S or File Save, and then just go back to the hardcover mock-up and you can see that the mock-up that I put on is now on this, um, this version here. Now there's some other things you can do in this specific mock-up. Some are pretty basic or unlimited. In this one, I can actually go in and change the background color, but before I do that, I can change the color. Do you see this? right here the inside cover is white if I double click this uh, smart object layer there I can actually pick a color so I can just drag this around if you wanted to make it red so you can change it that way but I'm just gonna hover over the book with the eyedropper and then click anywhere on the blue in that on that cover and um, it'll it'll make it that blue you can even try this color here that doesn't look too bad either, right? So I'm just gonna leave it blue for now and then hit OK and you can see that color's updated. I'm gonna bring that back up and focus on change background color. So right now they're both white. If I double click and maybe hover over this blue again, you'll see that it changed the color of that portion there. I can hit OK, double click the second one which is back here and maybe, you know, do something like that. That looks pretty cool too, right? So you got the blue and it keeps the theme of all the colors maintained in that cover. So that's pretty cool. If I was satisfied with that, I would just hit OK. And then you would save this out, okay? So you can go to File, Save As. And then obviously if you're putting this in a portfolio or if you're sending it to someone, you don't want to send it as a PSD file. It'll be too large. Um, so I would just make this also a JPEG and rename it to booklet mockup. And I'll just throw it on the desktop or tutorial here, that's fine. JPEG and hit okay. And so I'll just open that. So there you go, that's the JPEG version there. And so if you're emailing this or putting it on your website, obviously that looks a lot better than just having the cover as a JPEG itself, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to create your own mockup based on um, your own image. So this is an image from that mockup that I was using, but I turned it into a JPEG, and let's just assume that this is your image that you want to create. So the first thing I would do is go back to these. So I'm gonna lay these two pages onto this blank canvas here. And let's start with this uh, left side page. And it's the same concept, but only you're not dragging it onto a smart object layer um, and then saving it. This one takes a little bit more work. So I'm gonna click, drag, and just bring it onto that JPEG, okay? And I'm gonna Command T and just bring it down, scale it down. I'm just gonna leave it there, I'm just gonna hit enter. I'm gonna go to my layers now, you can see I have the background layer, which is my photo, and the layer one, which is that page. I'm gonna right click layer one, and I'm gonna convert it to a smart object. This will allow me to do uh, some smart object adjustments, and I'll show you that in a sec. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna hit Command T again. I'm just gonna rotate this so it kinda conforms to this layout. And for now, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it somewhere close, okay? I'm gonna zoom in a bit. And remember I talked about the smart, uh, smart object adjustments. I'm gonna right click. And the two that I'm gonna be working primarily with is distort and warp. So let's start with distort first. So right now you can see the page is pretty straight. I'm gonna distort it so it conforms with at least the corners here. Just bring each corner to the corner of the page. That's the way I usually start it out. Let me zoom in. Bring it like this. And that's okay, you can see the page is going up here and this is straight. We're gonna fix that in a sec. So 
zoom back out. Now I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna warp this, um, this page. So I'm gonna go in and this for this one, you don't really have to grab any of these handles. Just click on anywhere on the white space around the area you want to start warping and just bring it up like so. So that one's pretty good. So that's like that, that looks pretty good. Okay, and then I would just hit enter and I gotta fix this part here. Right click distort, maybe bring that down. Let's try warp again. That looks a lot closer now, so I'm going to hit enter. So that looks good right there. Now there's other adjustments you can do in terms of adding shadow. I'm not, not going to get into that today. I'm just showing you how to add mock-ups uh, to this. So let's bring in the other one. Click, drag, move. Bring that onto the page. Command T. You can see these are separate layers now, right? So I'm going to bring that down and rotate it. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect to start because we're gonna fix that. So anything that's kind of matching to the size of the page. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna hit enter. Let's turn that into a smart object. And Command T, right click, distort. And let's bring in Kind of hard to see that corner, but it's about right there. Let's bring this guy here. That's over here. Right click and let's warp it now. And obviously this is gonna take some maneuvering as you're working. looks pretty close to me and then you would have to just kind of maneuver and play play around with things but that's another way of adding a digital mock-up um, just adding your own artwork on top of your photo so you could take a shot of maybe a bottle that you're, you're doing in terms of packaging design um, but this is how you would do it if you're doing page layout and you want to do it on your own custom photo so that's, that's the way, two ways of adding mockups. And then again, I would just go to file, save as, save it as a JPEG so you don't have the layers. And, um, and then you could put it on your website or send it to a client and it gives them that sense of realism, shows them how it would look uh, when it was published instead of just sending them the JPEG. It's just a better way of presenting work as well. So that answers your question. That's how I add digital mockups to my my thumbnails for YouTube. By the way, because this is a PSD now, I can go in and add text, right? And add some text and things like that. And then build your own port, or I'm sorry, build your own mock-up that way, okay? 
So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Take care and we'll talk soon. Bye now.